Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a nice ratio problem. We have a squared minus 2b squared equals ab, and we're going to evaluate a plus b divided by a minus b. So we're going to find a numerical value for this equation, even though our equation has two variables, how do we solve for them, right? So let's go ahead and talk about it. First of all, notice that we have a squared, b squared, and ab in the equation. That's an important sign. It's going to tell us what to do. But before we get into that, let me go ahead and present the first method. So for my first method, I basically, and do the same thing for the second one as well, I want to put everything on the same side. So let's subtract ab from both sides so that we can set the whole thing equal to zero. Now here's what I'd like to do. I want to complete the square. In this expression how can i do that good question right we in other words we need to make this a perfect square how is that going to help us you'll see in a little, little bit how that works but in order to be able to do that first of all we need to notice which two terms can make a perfect square or rather i should say which three terms right because we need three terms to make a perfect square in other words i'm talking about the square of a binomial something like x plus y quantity squared or x minus y quantity squared, which can be written as x squared plus minus 2xy plus y squared. Don't get stuck on the fact that plus minus and minus plus are, you know, different, written differently because I write it this way. So, we do need three terms and we do have them, but in order for them to be able to make up like a perfect square, it needs to uh, meet certain criteria. For example, take this one. The n terms are perfect squares, okay, x squared and y squared. And this term is basically formed by square root of these terms. Of course, we're talking about positive square roots here. And then their product multiplied by 2. So that's the pattern we need to get. So here, you need to identify which terms are going to be perfect squares. So if you look at this, that looks like a perfect square. But I don't see another perfect square in this equation. So that's a problem, right? But don't worry, we can solve it. Notice that AB is the product of two variables. So that should be in the middle. So let's go ahead and do this. Add 2b squared to both sides. And 2b squared is 2b times b. 2b or not 2b. Let me say that real quick. And then we're going to think about what should we add on both sides so that the left-hand side becomes a perfect square. And what I mean by that is this needed y squared to be added, right, to make a perfect square. So what about this? Well, you can kind of think about it this way. Set AB equal to 2XY, and you're going to get the idea. You want to do that? So 2XY equals AB. And then from here, basically, we kind of need to solve for uh, Y. So let's go ahead and, hmm, let's see, 2XY is AB, yes. And we need to add Y squared. Okay, here's the thing. I need to... How do I explain this? Let me think about it. Okay, so I think this, this is probably a good idea. Uh, since I have y squared, I could probably just write it this way. Uh, xy is equal to ab divided by 2. And since I need a y squared, so maybe I can write a, y as ab divided by 2x. So I need to add y squared, which is a squared, b squared, divided by 4x squared. But you kind of need to think about what x squared is, right? So what is x squared in terms of uh, y and uh, b? Hmm. Anyways, this didn't work. I don't know why. Um, actually, you know what? Um, anyways, let me explain it differently. Okay, so <laughs> here's what we're going to do. This is going to be a squared minus 2 times a times half of b. This is probably a better idea. Now, notice that this is my y. Okay, now this makes more sense. This is my y and this is my x. You get it? So I need to add y squared, which is half of b squared. Get that? So I need to add the same thing on both sides. So it's going to look like this. Okay? So now, this becomes x minus y squared. Remember, this is y. Right? We added y squared to both sides. So how do you express this? Well, you can write it as x minus y squared. At the same time, it is the same thing as a minus half of b squared. Because y is b over 2, and x is a, remember? Okay, with the naming that we had. Now, this is equal to 2b squared plus b squared divided by 4 
which is 2b squared plus b squared divided by 4. That's going to make 9b squared divided by 4. Great. Now, the left-hand side is a perfect square. Is the right-hand side a perfect square? Yes and no, kind of. I, mean, I would say yes because 9 and 4 are really good numbers, right? So we can do the following. This can be written as a minus half of b squared equals 3b over 2 quantity squared. And then you, you know, when x squared equals y squared, there are two solutions. One of them is a minus b over 2 is 3b over 2. The other one is a minus b over 2 is the opposite of 3b over 2. Because you got to remember, there are two numbers whose square is 9b squared over 4. Okay? Now, if you add b over 2 to both sides, you get a equals 2b or not 2b, yay. And this one is going to give you negative 2b divided by 2, which is negative b. So we basically have the following solutions. But wait a minute. What are we trying to do here? Well, our goal is to solve for this. A plus B divided by A minus 2. You know what that means? It means you need to find A over B or B over A. And that can be easily found, for example, from this one, A over B is equal to 2. So if you replace A with 2B, well, actually, you don't need that. You can just replace A with 2B, right? That would be work. Uh, that would work. Um, 2B or not 2B comes up again. This is 3B divided by B. And that'll be a 3. So one of the values of this expression is 3. And the other one, if you replace a with negative b, you're going to get negative b plus b divided by negative b minus b. It is 0. So there are two values. One of them is 3. One of them is 0. But again, we're not looking for a over b. We're looking for the value of something like this. Let's go ahead and quickly talk about the second method because I think the second method, I have a feeling you're going to like it better. But I could be wrong. So let me know what you think. And it's definitely what you think, okay? <laughs> Great. Now, let's take a look at it from a different perspective. Again, I'm going to put everything on the same side. But this time, I want to put the negative AB in the middle. So, I'll write it like this. And then divide B, uh, both sides by B squared. You might be questioning, like, why are we doing this? You'll see in a little bit why this is super helpful. Now, I'm going to write it like this. A squared minus B squared. A squared over B squared minus AB divided by B squared. So I'm just going to separate these things. And of course, that is equal to zero, right? Now, A squared over B squared is A over B quantity squared. Now here, B, one of the Bs cancel out, leaving us with minus A over B minus, here the twos cancel out, leaving us with, wait a minute, that's not, why did I divide by two? I have no idea. I'm, I was supposed to divide by B squared, but I divided by two. That's amazing, isn't it? So they're going to cancel out, leaving us with a 2 at the end, which is a constant term. Awesome. Now, since we want to know what A over B is, let's go ahead and set it equal to something. How about A over B equal to R for ratio? This becomes R squared minus R minus 2 equals 0. But this is a quadratic, and it's very easy to solve, actually. You can write it as R minus 2 times R plus 1 equals 0. From here, you get R equals 2, which is A over B or r equals negative 1, which is, again, a over b. And you can just plug these in to the original expression or the expression that were being asked for, this one, and then you're going to get the exact same solutions. Which method do you like better? Let me know. Let us know, because this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. And don't forget to check out Cyber Math and A plus BI, which is a channel about complex numbers, and bye-bye.